In this video, I'll demonstrate counting your cable knitting rows. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. So counting your rows when you are working cables can be a little tricky. So let me show you how to do this. I have a swatch here that has cable and the one cable I worked in this single color, the other cable, when I got to a cable knitting row, I switched colors so that we can actually see what row the cable happens on. When it's in just one color, like your normal knitting will usually be, it can be a little deceiving identifying the cable knitting row. And that's because this is what looks to be the cable knitting row, where I can insert a DPN or cable needle, where these stitches have switched places, have crossed over each other. But that is not the cable knitting row. That is not where you performed the cable crossing. When you are working a cable crossing, you are taking the stitches from the row below that were already on the needle and you're rearranging them and then you're knitting across them. So this spot is actually the row below where you worked your cable row, if that makes sense, because those were the stitches that were already on the needle that have switched places. And so we can see that then in the side where I switch colors for the cable, actual cable row, right? So that those green stitches are sitting directly above that spot. So this is the cable crossing row that was worked, not this row, this row. So how does that help us count our rows? Well, if if we know then that this isn't actually the cable row, but this is the cable row, then we can count from this row. So this is the cable row. How many rows did I work to the next cable? Well, I cabled here and then I knitted one, two, three, four rows. This row is all of these stitches, and then five, and then I cabled on row six. So there are six rows. It's easier when you have knitting on your needles and you haven't cabled yet to count. Um, so let's say this row was on my needles and I'm wanting to know if I'm ready to cable again or not, get another pointer. So this appears to be the cable row, but it's not, this was the cabled row. So I cabled here and then I worked one, two, and then row three is on my needles, which means I need to work two more rows and then cable to be cabling every six rows. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, the spot that appears to be the cable is not actually where you cabled, it's the row above it that was worked across all of those stitches. That was the row that the cable happened on. And then there are one, two, three, four, five rows and a cable again on row six for this particular cable. So that's a quick video showing you how to count your cable knitting rows. Has this helped to clear things up? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.